We're on Avod Paragimo, Mishnah Tetvav. Very, very short, seemingly short Mishnah, but a very deep, very important Mishnah. This is a continuing on Rabbi Akiva. The Ramam says this is a continuing on Rabbi Akiva, even though it doesn't say Hu Haya Omer. Hakot Tzafoy. All is Tzafoy from the word Tzofe. Tzofe is to be seen. One of the old Israeli newspapers used to be called Hatzofe, the, the visionary or the viewer. So all is seen. Baharashut Nituna, and permission is given. Ubetuv ha'olam nidon. Okay, ubetuv, and in goodness ha'olam nidon. The world is judged. Ve'akol lefi rov ha'maase, and it is all according to rov ha'maase, the majority of action. Or rov ha'maase could also mean uh, the 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 greatness rov the the massiveness. Not not in in quantity. We'll see in quality, but in quantity. Ha'kol lefi rov ha'maase. So first, we're gonna. I actually just want to explain this according to the Rambam. Well, but let's do the Baratunur and then we'll see the Rambam. Hakol tzafui. Kol ma sheadam oseh bechadrei chadarim galui lefanav. God sees all. You can't hide anything from God. The harashut biyad to na biyad doshel adam. The permission is given for a person. La sot tovera. You can choose what you want to do. Even God says everything, but you choose if you want to do it. But ubetuva olam nidon. The world is judged b'midat harachamim with compassion. But nonetheless. Hakol lefi rov ha'maaseh afal pike. Nonetheless, ain hakol shavin b'midazu. Like not all, not all people are judged midah rachamim. When God judges people with compassion, not all people are equal. Lefi shakol lefi rov ha'maaseh. Because God looks at the majority of your actions. Hamar be b'maasim tovim. Notim la rachamim rubim. A person who does mostly good actions, so then he's judged by those mostly good actions. And God will take that into account. He looks at context. Person sins. Person does bad things. What is your rov ha'maaseh? The hamam eats b'maasim tovim. A person who minimizes in good actions, mematim no berachamim. Okay, then he gets less rachamim. That's the bar Tadura's explanation of the Mishnah. I want to go to the Rambam. Okay, we're going to go to the Rambam and learn the Rambam, the Pirush of Rambam on this Mishnah. It's long. We're not going to do the whole thing. Okay, zeh ma'amar kolot dvarim gedolim. Oh, this this short ma'amar, this short thing, it it, it includes great things. Ve'ra'oi hayaz zeh ma'amar sheli Rabbi Akiva. It's worthy for Rabbi Akiva. Okay, I'll tell you this in brief, but on the condition that you know everything we learned before. The, okay, meaning, if you have to read Rambam's Shimon Prakim, his Hakdama, his introduction to Perkei Avot, and especially the eighth pair. Amar, kol ma'asheha ba'olam, yadua etzlo yitbarach, v'hu mesigoto. God knows everything, and he comprehends everything, everything in the world in existence. It's not that God sees everything happening. I think it Rambam means it's not only tzafoy from the word to see, to vision, but tzafoy from litzapot, to expect. Everything is expected. God knows everything that not only happens now, that's going to happen. But nonetheless, it says, Meaning, don't think that because God knows, that God knows all, what, all everything that happens, it will happen, and it's going did happen. Yitchayev ha'hechrech, that things will necessarily that my actions are are obvious are necessary. That well, God knows I'm going to sin in ten minutes. I have no choice. It's not true. Aval harashut biyad adam. Man has reshut. Let's go back to the mission. We'll see it in the Mishnah. It says the Rambam called Safoy. God sees everything. He knows everything you're going to do. Nonetheless, harashut netuna. Permission is given. Okay, that God gives you permission, you have free will. Everyone has free will. And this is the majesty of God. I, I personally, I don't know, people have trouble with that. Oh, if God knows what I'm going to do, then I have no free choice. That's the attribute of God. God is God in that. He knows what you're going to do, but still gives you free choice. I, I met some people, I understand, have trouble with that. I never did. Okay, that's the shoot to do As we said in the eighth chapter of the Shemona Prakim. Nonetheless, God judges people with kindness and with chesed, with compassion. Not like they deserve to get, you know, you did this, you did that. No, Kaddish Baruch Hu looks at you with, with compassion. Okay? Okay? These attributes, and now it says, it's not that, that, that the, the last phrase, it's not about God's judging. The Bartonur said, 
the two for lamni don't but call if you rob my said this rob my said was about your judging the it's not about your judging it's about a person's growth if the person's growth he says is hamaalot a person's growth and attributes and positive attributes lo yagil if you rob go de la maase it's not about the quantity of the action that you do you did one amazing thing rather often they be rob mispar maasim but about the quantity of actions that you do Rushima alat amnam yagiu bikke bikfula maasim atobin pa amim rabot person if you do things over and over again you do it bihatmada many many times the imze yagia kinyan khazak and 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 then a person will acquire it very strongly lakshia se adam pal akhad gadom bipulot atoba you know one great mitzvah wonderful he bizal bado lo yagiu lo kinyan khazak cuz that's not to give you a great attribute it's beautiful very so i i found the ram i'm so beautiful cuz for god knows all Rabbi Shudna Tuna, but still you have the choice of make, of choosing good, and he, even even though God knows what you'll do, ubetuva olam idon, God judges you nonetheless with compassion and kindness. Vakol if you rov amasa, you want to grow, do small things over and over again, make it a habit. Every little bit that you do over and over again, greatness is in small steps, not in one big step. We'll stop here, dedicate our learning. Yeah, you can say greatness is in one mishnah, two mishnah every day, every single day. You want to learn? You know, go learn something for ten hours in a row, and then you don't learn for weeks and weeks. All right, that's worth something. You want to become great? One, two mishnayot a day, each and every day. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.